Greetings, YouTube. Once again, happy Tuesday. I have been working furiously to clear out my line app messages. As you can see in the top left, I'm down to 28, which means I've done about three hours of messaging this morning. It's my last full day of vacation. I'm trying to catch up on communication with the community. And uh, I received a several messages, shall we say, from Zima underscore blue this morning when I woke up. And uh, I just wanted to show you what he has been experiencing because he isn't sure if somebody else is experiencing the same bug. And Lord knows it is a terrible bug. So just to give you an idea of how Dungeons has evolved, if you're kind of new to the Dungeon concept, I hated Dungeons when they first came out last year. I think it was in May of 2018. I did not do a single Dungeon run until Dungeon Day which was mainly because I had just started doing live streaming on my channel, and I thought, how cool would it be to do dungeon runs with my subs? And it was really cool. Now I actually enjoy dungeons for the most part, but I get that the biggest issue with dungeons is the refresh timers at this point. They give you almost no rewards, microscopic rewards, but then they lock your six stars out for almost a week, and you, they lock your your four, or excuse me, your five stars, not your four stars, but your five stars out for almost four days. And it used to be two days. And so if you were smart and you did a dungeon run with your best trio of champions in the opening night of the dungeon three-day period, when the next one refreshed, your champions would be refreshed. Kabam caught on to that. They wanted to make more money off of it. And in their defense, I'm sure it cost them quite a bit of money to actually develop this dungeon concept, and they're probably not getting much, if any, back of profit in return. But also the dungeon uh, communication and the matchmaking system is unbelievably terrible. I have seen so many horror stories of people who it's like a bad Tinder date, right? They get matched up with somebody that ghosts them immediately, and they can't move, and they just time out and get no points, and their champions are locked or maybe even worse, they get locked up with somebody, say, in a Dungeon 7, whose three champions are all rank 5 four stars, and they get absolutely wrecked and lose all three of their champions on the first node, and then they don't get any dungeon artifacts from even one room of completion either. So that is unfortunately the unreliable system of this. So what I thought I would do, and I asked this user if I could do this, and he said, sure. I wanted to show you his messages and his videos to me that he sent this morning so you can get an idea of what this is. So he says, hey, Prof, just wanted to send this in to show how soul-crushing the dungeons are. And that might sound like hyper hyperbole to some, but they can be soul-crushing when you're risking your best champs. Not to mention the unre unreliable teammates, which I just discussed. The following bug occurred multiple times now, and I have to say, he said he's on the latest, newest Android phone. This is not like a, a, a device issue, at least not from what it seems. It ruined a full dungeon run for me and the random teammate before it even began. To explain what happened before the video started, I started the dungeon and proceeded to the first fight. I clicked start on the pre-fight screen, and then nothing happened until the one minute timer went zero. I was sent back to the map view screen, but then I couldn't start the fight again. All that while my teammate had already finished his first fight and was waiting for me. I restarted the game to see if it would help for, for me somehow. The old turn it off and on again trick, and then this happened. So you can see he has a dungeon that he needs to hit continue with on the mutant versus mystic. He hits continue and it sends him back to the loading screen of the homepage. And it just kept doing that over and over again until he timed out. This, however, is just the tip of the iceberg. Having your six-star champions locked for almost a full week is just ridiculous. And I have covered that in multiple videos. Completely agree. And the game is so merciless when it comes to things like this or leaving teammates. Where you get the partner, you get uh, zero points and in turn have three of your champions locked. I already wrote a ticket to the Kabam support, but I don't really expect anything of a helpful answer, so I wanted to reach out to you. Okay, so thank you for reaching out to me because that is why my channel exists, to talk about community issues, especially issues that Kabam tries to silence on the forums, uh, which is, of course, another way to uh, basically just make it to where they can turn up their nose to the issue. And I think he just submitted another message as I'm recording this. I just wish there was something of a failsafe with the dungeon system, and there's no doubt that there should be a failsafe. 
And that's the biggest issue right now in dungeons. Besides, I think the rewards really don't justify the refresh timers at all. And the way that dungeon crystals work, of course, you can do all of that work for multiple weeks and then end up having the RNG giving you your fourth six star king or fourth five star, excuse me, king root, etc. So it is the strangest and most frustrating dungeon bug because it does not give you the opportunity to continue the dungeon run and you lose out on all of those points and of course the ability to have your champions be used again for another four to four days to even a week if they're six stars. So he wanted uh, me to ask and I wanted to ask as well, is there anybody watching this who knows someone or has this happened to you? Because this is a very serious bug for this user. And typically, I like to discuss things that are patterns or uh, troublesome issues that are happening to multiple people. So if you could help him and I out and comment below and let us know if you have seen this. Uh, I have a feeling a lot of people are just going to comment, this is why I don't do dungeons. I've never done dungeons, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? I can't blame you. It's right up there for some people with the annoyance of Alliance War. Only the rewards are not nearly as good as Alliance War. So for some people, it's the worst part of the game. Again, I can't blame you. If I didn't have a channel that I could interact with people while I live stream, if I wasn't hanging out with my dungeon buddy and doing dungeons, I think it would not be nearly as exciting for me too. But thankfully, I have what I have. I just want this experience to be better for the average player. And that's why this video exists. Exists. Thank you to Zima underscore blue for putting this issue in a video format and thank you to everybody in advance for your feedback on whether or not you've experienced this in your own dungeon runs.